Right, so this will be bad. We have to play around Plasma Storm. So I don't want to commit Iron Cliffs without roaring them. Iron Cliff is essentially a 6 drop here. This is not a bad hand though, good options. I like Azurit Lion and Jaxi both. Um, this is useful against things like Chrysalis Burst, Artifacts, Eggs in general. We don't want this pet. The pet sucks. Um, I like Handcart. I feel like against a good Magma deck we probably want the Primus instead. But maybe I'm wrong. Like, his face damage is going to be strong enough that he can chow through this in a couple of turns anyway. Whereas Handcart's a win condition. No, I don't like that idea. If he has ways to answer, you know, if he has Thumping Wave or whatever. Um, and we've you know, run away and committed ourselves to that plan, that's much worse. Um, what's the turn one? I think this is getting replaced. There's a chance our 2-drop dies, but <coughs> we can just play the other one. Um, I guess the Jaxi is more likely to live the turn. And it's much better to set the Jaxi up earlier. That's quite a good draw. Dispel is pretty reasonable against Magma. So this is awkward. You can see why I was talking about playing around Plasma Storm. Because these cards all have 3 or 2 power. 3 or less power. Uh, which is obviously deeply awkward. The nice thing about Jaxi is that in Gauntlet there are very few ways to punish it. Early on. I mean, even in, even in Constructed, like if the opponent has a Dispel, so what? Okay, so I think this is pretty easily just slap this down. I may actually keep the Divine Bond. If my opponent's going to do nothing for a couple of turns, we might be able to absorb an Egg Morph with this, play this, hopefully stick it, Divine Bond it, and start beating face. So I'm actually going to replace the Light Bender. This is probably worse than the Shield Master. At this stage, I want to limit my opponent's ability to come back into the game. Um, part of that is involves protecting the Jaxi so it doesn't die to a Scorn. Um, and I want to make my opponent use an Egg Morph if he has one. Um, so the Primus is kind of the more urgent thing in the way to be dealt with. Is this a Light Bender? Thorn Needler. That I don't care about too much. Um, right, so that says no Egg Morph. Do I have to worry about um, Plasma Storm? I think the answer to that is generally yes. Um, do I keep this alive? I can come up. I can come. I can come up here, play the Hailstone Golem, and just take six like a boss. Um, in order to trade Jaxi and keep this alive. Um, if we're going to be divine bonding the opponent out of the game soon, we can probably get away with that. Uh, I think I'll replace this Azure line first and find out. That's a good draw as well. Um, that means we don't have to use the Mana Spring, which is kind of convenient because it allows us to keep Ironcliff Roar open for next turn, but I think I have to use the Roar to get rid of this anyway. So I'm not sure that's a concern. Um, how much do I want to face tank 6? I don't really, but I think it might be the best play. The nice thing about this is that it continues to protect the Jaxi as well. I think I'm going to come forwards. Pressure my opponent still. Take this trade. Cool. Um, I will elect not to attack with the Primus. Um, I'm quite happy for my opponent to spend removal on it. Because again, I want to stick the Iron Cliff cause to try and insta-kill my opponent with Divine Bond. Um, that's basically the plan here. Since we're on 4-0, we might have to worry about Mechanto War Beast. Primus of his own. It's pretty reasonable. Hmm. 
not too bothered about taking three to kill this off. Um, that seems reasonable. And then I can play Ironcliff behind my opponent. Um, it's not bad either. Options. Um, opponent's on 19. Divine Bonding this is 10. But we can't clear the... Oh, we can clear the Primus if we... Hit, trade with everything and use the mini jacks. 19 is not very exciting. So let's play Ironcliff down, let's say here. And we're going to bring this up. Attack. Attack again. I'm going to position my Primus so that I don't get wrecked by my Canter War Beast. I don't think so. Um, I can put it up here. I think that's worse for me. I kind of want my opponent to spend his turn mechantering these away, because then we win. Uh, I think. No, not quite. Do I just get in for three? I don't think so. I think I stay where I am. It sucks if he top decks Plasma Storm. Um, but I think that's not too bad. Even if he does, we still have, like, heal this raw Divine Bond for uh, 11 Dancing Blades. That is fine. That can be your turn. No, you can't run away. <laughs> that has Provoke. Nope. <laughs> They're trying. <laughs> They're really trying. Um, this is nice because regardless of whether my opponent attacks this or not, it does the same amount of damage, which is 15... So we have Lethal with the Hailstone. Or even just the Jaxi and Arjun. I sort of feel bad for this, but I don't really. It's funny. <coughs> Come on, pass the turn and accept your fate. Welcome to Lionar. Well, that worked out. We found a plan. We stuck to it. We did our best to identify what was and wasn't in the opponent's hand. I feel like either our opponent's a good player uh, who's playing a sort of subpar deck, or is playing a great deck but got like super unlucky there because we saw we didn't really, really see anything very scary. I just noticed I had a friend. I have a friend message. I'll respond to that later. 4-0, man. I mean, I realized this deck was good, but I was not expecting to get this far actually undefeated. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> Time to eat those words. Right, so here we're looking for Scorn, Sky Burial, Lucid Beam. Lightbend is pretty good. Um, this isn't bad, honestly. Uh, I don't know if it's as good as Hailstone Golem, uh, when we already have this great... 3 drop and we don't really have like this is a 4 drop but it's very situational it's essentially a removal spell right ok this is an excellent hand um I am very happy with this be bad be bad be bad that's pretty scary at least if she miss dragon seals it we just play as a herald lucid beam so that's kind of fine and she can't hit this cause it's uh Provoked. I'm going to keep all of these cards. I would have replaced that. Um, this Dragon Seal hit you in the face. As long as she doesn't Killing Edge it, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. We have Dispels. Whoa, dear. Flying in Rebirth. That's not too bad. That's honestly not too bad. Um, this is a bit awkward because we can't dispel the Jaxi and the Elkal at the same time. Uh, which I imagine my opponent has set up deliberately. Ooh, man. 
What does that do? So Tempest... Tempest isn't amazing here. Um, honestly, I might just play the Hailstone Golem. Like, I can come over here and kill the Alcowl or something. No, kill the Kaido Assassin, that's better. Um, protect myself from the Alcowl, set up to kill it next turn, and just play the Hailstone Golem. Um, you die. Uh, where is this going? I want it near my opponent. Um, I guess I would like her to have to attack the 3 3. So if I play it between um, me and the. Uh, between the Knight and the Jaxi, that's better. Like this way, my opponent can't hit it with the Jaxi and then run off and start making these. I mean, she can make one and then come in, but we, have, we do have a Tempest, so. Um, I think the ideal turn would be like if my opponent I don't know spent cards killing this oh dear that's a bit scary um <clears throat> that's still not that bad like I guess the main issue is if she runs off with the alcohol um but I don't know how much I care about that yep this is fine because we can come down here and hit it Nothing. Interesting. So do we just, like, trade these, come down here and cast the Tempest? And we can still follow up with Putrid Dreadflayer, which is quite solid, and get the Hillstone Golem in my opponent's face, although all it does is deal damage. Um, what am I shipping? I think this is an easy trade. I think we go trade here, hit this, Tempest, but then, then what? What do I, what do I get rid of? kind of want all of these cards. Possibly I do replace the Lightbender. We have a couple of good interactive cards already. That's good as well. Jeez. Um, we can't use it this turn, but that's still pretty good. Hmm, it's very awkward that this dies. I guess we still have a bunch of interaction in, in hand. Um... So it's not actually that bad. Oh no, I messed up. Oh, I messed up so bad. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, my heart, my heart went for a moment there. Okay, you die. Um, you die. Tempest. Fire. Go. I'm gonna make my opponent kill this. Oh, I guess she's also welcome to Phoenix Fire or something. Ooh, excellent. Okay, so we have lots of ways now to contest um, awful heart seekers. The Herald Lucid Beam is particularly nice because if the opponent goes Heart Seeker Killing Edge and passes, we can just shoot it. Um, and it's also good against Four Winds Megai. The nice thing about the Dread Flare is I can kind of run it over here and stop that. Double Twin Strike, that's so rude. <laughs> I mean, I guess this was dying for free anyway, but still, that's awful. So much card advantage. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy with running this into the corner, developing the Arrow Whistler. Actually, maybe I'd play the Arrow Whistler and roar it, and then spread my Dread Flare over there, come up. Yeah, that seems better. Uh, where do I want to go? Does it matter? Yeah, let's go here. If I go this way, my opponent runs this way, it gets awkward. Um, you're going to go in the corner. Um, and I think I still keep all of these. I still want the Scorn to help deal with Heartseekers. Maybe that's incorrect, though. Maybe I'm supposed to replace it and look for, like, um, Iron Cliffs and stuff. It also lets this die to Phoenix Fire. That is a lot worse than a Scorn. That is a lot better than a Scorn. There we go. That'll do. So 
Now my opponent's kind of obliged to come towards me to deal with this, which is pretty good. Um, I guess she can still do it, though. She's like Saber Spine Pump Spell. I guess that's still a 2 for 1. Although my opponent's pretty far ahead in hand because of all the twin strikes. That's a lot of draw. <clears throat> okay. That's fine too. Do I want to play the Pandora first? I think the answer might be yes. Um, I'm fine with the Pandora taking one damage. Um, if it means I get to keep a 2-1 flyer, that's pretty handy. Bye. Sweet. Rewarded. I'm gonna hit her in the face. Because this crappy sunset. Brilliant. Haha, <laughs> brill. It's a flyer and it's between my opponent and the 2-1. Right, so this is pretty hard for her to deal with. Um, Onyx Bear Seal is an epic. Uh, she can... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whew. I was... I was a bit scared at the start of that, not gonna lie. Um, but I think my opponent just didn't quite have what she needed to... Excuse me, tempo me out in the early turns. Right. I'm going to play one more game, and then I think that will make an evening. Um, the Outlier. That name rings a bell. Maybe I'm thinking of The Outsiders by R.E.M. Um, right, we have three drop into pretty good four drop. Um, I guess we just replace the expensive stuff. I mean, these are kind of okay. Like, I can play this on turn four. And it's huge. Um, the Sky Burial is okay. It's not that exciting. Now we've got we've got a fair amount of expensive clunk in the deck. Let's not focus on it. So I'm actually replacing the Lion here though, uh, just because we already have three drop into four drop, and I'd quite like to make high impact plays all day if I can. Is that a battle pet? Okay, cool. Um, that's a bit awkward. Let's see if I can find something crap to trade with it. Boring. Um, that's a bit awkward. I guess, like, denying my opponent the mana tile. Um, if I play it here... Oh, if I play it here, my opponent still gets to take the tile. I don't really have I don't have a five drop. I just got a bunch of four drops, so there's no benefit to me not doing that. I may as well just deny it. It does suck to trade my amazing three drop for this thing, but I think I'd rather that than allow my opponent to play a four drop. At least it gets in for three damage, uh, and then we can deploy Primus into Primus, <laughs> um, or even depending on what my opponent does, run away and play Hank Hart, But it's probably going to be the Primus. Hmm. This is interesting. I definitely get more and more scared as I go along, like, you know, I'm 5-0 and oh now, what sort of nonsense do my opponents have? This deck is really good, though. Sup. <laughs> Feels good, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, oh man. I would emote, but I don't think anyone stoops that low. <laughs> that was brutal. Two for zero. Well, it does still have four cards in hand, but uh, I think we're doing pretty well here. Natural selection. You do that. That's a thought. Do they have another one? Maybe they'll play a crappy minion. I 
That's really interesting. So I can I can actually just I can play Hank Heart. And my opponent can't reach it. Um And it gives me I don't even have to play it on the mana tile, come to think of it. I can play it behind me, safely. Uh, take the mana tile next turn and play Pandora. Seems good. Yeah, I'll go for that. Hmm. Basically, if I want, to, if I'm going to play something that dies to natural selection, I'd rather it be this. Hold it. Um, just because the Iron Cliff can insta kill him, and the Iron Cliff is much easier to play. Like you can just drop them. Uh, although I'm not going to, I'm going to play this Pandora instead. If he has another natural selection, I'll be pretty salty, but that's fine. Let's replace that. It's not exciting enough. Beef. I'm not sure why I played that there, actually, although it's worked out pretty well. Um, this is a decent place for it to spawn. Like, opponent has to attack this if he wants to mechantor. Um, or he can mechantor these, but then can't hit me in the face with it. So that's not too bad. Plasma Storm... <laughs> Then we play this, and we roar it. Yes, run away. Flee! Uh-oh. Do we have to be aware of, like, bounded life force? Is that a thing? In Gauntlet? Golden Justicar, big provoke. That's not too scary. Going face. Um, so I guess we just kill this with our Pandora dudes and play Iron Cliff uh, and roar it. So then it's immune to natural selection and um, Plasma Storm. And we can play it here and stay where we are to get immunity to Mechantor, uh, which is all very nice. That's an option too, but I think I want the Provoke. I don't really like the direction my life total is heading in. Um, so we do this. Uh, let's hope it spawns a Provoke, let's say here, or here. Flying. Flying is good. Uh, actually one of the worst ones. Uh, although better than Celerity or Frenzy on this board state. Um... Yeah. Actually, flying is fine. Like, we want, we want to ranged or provoke. Basically. Um, what are we looking to do now? This sky barrel has been in my hand the entire game. I've just had other things to replace. Although, it's probably getting the boot next turn, considering my hand is full of fat, provoke, and healing. Um, which is generally how you beat magma. <laughs> Do not care. Do not care. Do not care. How many battle pets is this guy running? The hell? Well, flying worked out in our favor there. <laughs> but we couldn't body block. That's really weird. Was that four pets we saw? I guess maybe they were getting wins just like flooding the board with really cheap stuff uh, and supporting it. I guess like a load of one mana three power minions plus natural selection is quite a good way to ensure you win the early game. And then you back that up with... Obviously you deal a bunch of damage to their face, especially with the Koi's. And then you back that up with um, Vath's Bloodborne spell. Quite an interesting idea for a deck. Um, and obviously, since that was a 5 0 match, um, unless the matchmaking's um, pairing me down heavily, but 
it doesn't seem to be taking very long, so I don't think so. Um, yeah, obviously that's working out, so I'll have to bear that in mind. Might be one to try at some point. Um, right, it's getting a little late, my voice is getting more than a little sore. Um, so I'm going to call it quits for the evening. Um, but thank you so much for coming and watching and giving me your advice and discussion. Um, I really appreciate it, especially when you spot stuff that I haven't thought of um, or when I make mistakes. Um, that's really helpful. We can teach each other. Um, that was awesome. I'm This deck is disgusting. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is more disgusting than the the Songhai deck. It's certainly easier to play. Like, you just play massive things on curve and play around their removal a bit and you kind of win. Uh, or at least that's how it's worked out so far. Uh, we'll see how that goes in the pushing for seven wins bracket. Uh, probably next Monday.